coming into testing, fans are looking forward to seeing if the big regulation change has mixed up the grid. Leclerc coming into the season and now triple world champion after the title decider in Brazil. Ferrari continue to look very strong but don't appear to have the advantage as previous years. Only setting the third fastest time in testing but are they sandbagging? Any time will tell. Max Verstappen is getting more and more frustrated at Red Bull as since 2021 he hasn't had a car capable to make him win his second world championship. However, Red Bull looked to have hit the ground running, topping the final day of testing and having a reliable car completing the most amount of laps in testing but will this be Verstappen's year where he wins his second world title we shall have to wait and see Mercedes came into the new season with a spare seat after Lewis Hamilton's retirement from the sport last year Mercedes went after McLaren's Brown who described it as a dream move for him rumors suggest he was still very happy at McLaren despite the disappointing end to last season having signed a one-year contract with McLaren with an option for a second year Brown was able to leave much more peacefully than he did with Aston Martin. An interviewer with Zach Brown, he explained that they wanted Brown to stay but understood his decision and wasn't going to stand in the way of him going to Mercedes. He also keeps Mercedes all British driver lineup. Back to the track though and Mercedes are looking to make a big step forward after a disappointed season last year. The pace looks strong but is it strong enough? McLaren just missed out on the title last year in both the drivers and the constructors. With the seat now available, McLaren have gone after the Alpha Tauri's Pierre Gasly, who was out of contract and also wanted to break away from the Red Bull programme. He will partner Lando Norris this season. However, McLaren looked to have gone the wrong way on development for the new season as they finished bottom in the first two days of testing and was only fifth fastest on the final day of testing. It appears they have put too much R&D into last season to catch Ferrari that they are not prepared for this season. There was now a spare seat at Alfa Tauri. After a spell of racing in Formula E, Dan Ticton finally has his chance in Formula 1 as he signed for Alfa Tauri along with the Red Bull Academy to replace Pierre Gasly. On track though, and they look to have taken a big step towards their system team of Red Bull and could be a the front of the midfield this season. Ours have been the big shock of testing, having topped the second and third day of testing. Gunter Steiner explained they had stopped development of last year's car halfway through the season to put everything into this season and it looks to have paid off with Magnussen leading the team and Piastri the young gun to one day carry it on halves look very strong this season. Alpine had a quick car again last season but was still fragile with multiple DNFs due to reliability. Like McLaren they seem to have fallen back this year completing the least amount of laps during the three days of testing. Williams are hoping to have taken a big step forward this season however they had many issues during the test which has massively dented their confidence going into the new season. Alfa Romeo had a horrible season last year, having comfortably the worst car on the grid after being the only team not to score points last season. Unfortunately, it looks set to be the same. Finally, Aston Martin. They look still to be in the battle with Williams this year, but with problems within the team as team members aren't happy with Lance Stroll and want to change as they aren't very happy with his attitude as he is constantly blaming the team for poor performances and feels by now Aston Martin should be at the front of the grid. Many team members have since left the team as they know Lance will never be replaced by the team due to his father owning the team. This could lead them to go further and further back this year but only time will tell. Formula 1 and the FIA have come under fire from the fans as many are not happy with how the sprint race affected a once in a decade four way title fight. It meant the race was meaningless as Leclerc had basically already wrapped up the title after the sprint. It's taken a long time but the fallout has led to Formula 1 dropping all sprint races for the 2025 season to the delight of the Formula 1 fans. Formula 1 has also lowered the entry fee to encourage tracks to come back to the calendar. We will start in Australia before then going to Spain, Monaco, Baku, Canada, Great Britain, France, Hungary, Belgium, 
Italy, Singapore, Japan, America, Mexico and for the first time since 2021 Portugal will come back onto the calendar and we will finish the season off in Abu Dhabi. Many fans were disappointed to see Brazil dropped from the calendar as it is a classic track but the organisers of the Brazilian Grand Prix only wanted to host the race if it was a sprint race which of course Formula 1 after the fallout was not prepared to do. That is it for testing. We know a rough order of the field for the 2025 season and also the calendar so i will see you in australia when f1 will be go in 2025